my name's Zoom. I'm going to be your nurse today. Can you go ahead and tell me your first and last name? Uh, Chen Zhang. Okay, and your date of birth? Uh, 12-18-2005. Awesome. And we'll just go ahead and check your armband real quick just to clarify everything. And awesome. And do you have any allergies? Um, iodine and shellfish. Iodine and shellfish? Okay. Um, can you go ahead and tell me why you're here today, Charlie? I have this really bad rash, and it's just mm -hmm. really itching super bad. Um, and, yeah, it's just making my body kind of sick, maybe? Yeah. I don't, I don't know why. <sighs> yeah, okay. Well, I see the rash. It looks a little bit red. It looks like it might be a little bumpy, so let's try to not poke um, at it too much, because okay. that can be very bad. I know you're going to want to poke, yeah. but hopefully we can get some some clarification on what's going on, and then we can prevent the poking and the itching. Okay. Um, yeah, I went ahead and go, uh, had a nurse take a set of your vital signs before I came in, and it seems like you do have a slight fever, um, so maybe we can help to control that too, and maybe get you some fluids and things like that, okay? Um, so you have the rash. Can you tell me a little bit about how your day was going today? Anything that um, might have caused the rash? My day was going okay. I, I noticed the rash... Um, maybe a couple of days ago, I I noticed it kind of after I went on a hike with one of my friends. With one of your friends. Okay, on the hike, did you touch any touch any of your plants? Maybe fall and scrape something? Or? I mean, not that I can remember. Okay. Um, we were all just kind of having a good time, and I wasn't really aware of any plants around me. Okay. Um, how about yeah. how about at home? Do you know? Have you been eating anything different? Or um, you know, did your mom like? Maybe put a new laundry detergent, new soap, oh. new body wash. Well, I did get this new ice cream that's been really good, but I do know that my mom did change uh, a detergent that I had, too. Let me just go ahead and ask you about your okay. um, pain. So what can you say that would make it worse? What makes it better? I mean, when I... It itches super, super bad, and when I itch it, it feels a little bit better, but then after I itch it, it... It feels like it's burning. Okay. So is it only, I see that you have it on your, it seems like on your forearms and also on your left leg. Yeah. Um, does it only hurt and itch on those regions or does it yeah. radiate anywhere? I don't think so. No? Yeah, it's okay. just where it um, gets red and bumpy. Okay. okay. And um, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being little to no pain at all and 10 being the worst pain you've ever had, what would you give the rash and the itch? I mean, the itch itself is like a 10. It's a very 10. itchy. Okay. But the pain, well, after I've itched it, maybe a four. A four. Okay. Okay. So a four and a ten. I'll go ahead and um, document that into your chart. And you said that the rash started about a couple of days ago, and yeah. you went on a hike this today. Uh, I went on a hike like um, a, a few days before that, ash maybe yesterday, and then I went on a hike like a few days ago. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then my mom maybe changed the detergent. I don't know, like a week ago or something. Okay. So all within a time frame of a week. Yeah. Got it. Well, I totally understand your pain, Charlie, so we're going to go ahead and get this sorted out. Any childhood illnesses that we should be um, notified about? Um, I just had ear infections. Ear infections a lot? Okay. Yeah. And then, did you have any, any serious or accident injuries your um, whole entire life? Though? I mean, I was in a car accident when I was 16. It was actually my own fault. Okay. Um, what... Was there anything broken bones, anything no, like that? No, Just I was really lucky. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Glad that you're here today. Sadly that you're here with the rash, but I'm glad that you'll be able to hear, be yeah. here. Um, have you had any serious surgeries or hospitalizations? Um, no. No? I don't think so. Any allergy meds, pain meds? Um, I'm on an allergy. I do uh, fatigacinic apiamate okay. with nasal spray. Uh, and I think that's it. Okay. And do you know, Have you? did you get your flu shot for this year? I, I have had a flu shot. Yeah. Okay. And did you get your COVID vaccine? Yep. I've had the booster? Yeah, I've had two COVID shots and then the booster. Okay, got it. And do you want to ask me your family history? Do you know if anyone in your family has um, heart problems, lung problems? Um, uh, my sister was born with heart issues. Um, she had a surgery, but she's fine now. Okay. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Um, any abdominal, you know, um, movement, joint issues with your family? No. Do you have any, does your family have any mental illnesses, any mental health concerns? Um, when was your last uh, physical exam? Uh, oh, actually, it wasn't too long ago because I had to do it for the volunteer opportunity. So, like, I don't know, 
Six months a year, six months, six months. Six months a year. Okay. Do you wear glasses or contacts? No. When was your last eye exam? I don't know. <laughs> when I got my license, maybe okay. when I was sixteen. Okay. <laughs> do you wear sunscreen every day? Um, I do actually. On my face, it's uh, moisturizer. Moisturizer. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you get any headaches? Any fevers? Usually, I know you have a fever right now, but in general. Yeah. Um. No, I, I do struggle with my sinuses. Like, right now, I have, like, some sinus stuff, but it could be allergies. Okay, too. got it. And um, as for your chest, do you have any shortness of breath, usually? Any chest pain? No, no, okay. And as for all of your movements, do you ever have any back pain, any arm pain, leg pain? My lower back hurts sometimes, but I mean, it's not super bad. Okay, got it. And then, um... Uh, stomach stuff, do you get any pain there, you know, any, uh, bowel movements are going great? Yeah. Yeah, last one was, uh, yesterday. Yeah. Okay, so. awesome. Um, do you ever have any issues going to the bathroom, like, on um, urination or anything like that? Like, any sorts of other, um, uh, activities of daily living, some, like, little habits that you have? I play the guitar. Oh, nice. Yeah. Plays with my girlfriend sometimes. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad. And you said you have a girlfriend. Are you happy in that relationship? Yeah, yeah. Um, we've been dating uh, for two years. Two years? Okay. Yeah. Love that. High school sweethearts, you know. Yeah. That's always cute. Yeah. Um, and would you say that you have any religious or spiritual beliefs? Uh, not super religious, okay. no. Got it. Yeah. And so from just by looking at it, it looks like your skin tone is all in check. Don't see any signs of edema anywhere, no swelling. Do you feel hot today besides... Um, the fever? Do you have any excessive dryness? I don't think so. Yeah. Okay, great. And um, I don't see any, I, don't, I can't smell any odor, so that's always a good sign. Can I go ahead and just look at the, the rash real sure. quick? It doesn't look too big. It looks like just a little bit of redness as well as some swelling and inflammation. Can I look at your hands and fingers yeah. real quick? No signs of cyanosis, no clubbing, no cap. Um, his cap refill looks great, less than three seconds. Let me just go ahead and check your pulse real quick. Make sure you're alive and breathing. <laughs> um, steady, or steady, and it looks and feels all great. Um, you're going to real quick. Let me just take that skin. Great. Less than like a second, so you're perfectly hydrated, which is always good to hear. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead, so like I said, your rash just looks a little bumpy, looks a little inflamed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rub my hand down it real quick, okay. just let me know. I know there might be some pain with it, but if it really hurts, let me know, okay? It just itches. <laughs> okay, hopefully, hopefully I don't itch it too much, but it just feels a little bumpy. It's like um, a palpable wheel is what we like to call it, so it's kind of like um, a mosquito bite yeah. almost. Okay. It looks like you might, from your scratching, you might have cause it to be more infected and inflamed, so you can notice there's a little yeah. bit of a white boil going on there. So that could be a sign of, um, of a possible infection, so that's why you want to prevent the scratching and okay. the itching. But besides that, I think I'm good with my skin assessment. Like I said, I would just doc we're going to document that if there's some redness, looks like there might be some sort of an infection, and um, we've been good with the itching so far while we're here. But everything else on your skin looks good just besides the nose, okay? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and go and listen to your heart and lungs. Just okay. want to make sure that those are sounding good and clear. And while I'm doing this, just go ahead and take deep breaths, breathe normally. No need to rush or anything like okay. that. You let me know if you have any pain during this time. Okay. Your heart sounds great. I just want it. The first two sounds are present, so I'm glad to hear that. I'm just going to go ahead and listen to your lungs. Lean back down for me, Charlie. So your heart and lungs sound great. Uh, the doctor, the physician. Um, it was good. He just said I ended up having an allergic reaction and um, that I do have kind of an infection. Yeah. infection. Okay, yeah, that's what he had mentioned to me. It seems like the um, rash just came from an allergic reaction from the detergent. Well, Charlie, it was nice to meet you. Thank Glad you we too. solved this problem. I'm going to go ahead and finish working on your discharge papers, but you are all set to go, okay? Thank you. Appreciate have it. a good one. Okay, for my nursing diagnosis, I have impaired skin integrity related to the inflammation and pain from the new detergent as evidenced by the ongoing rash that spread across the patient's body. I also have risk for infection related to the patient poking at the rash as evidenced by the pus-filled rash. And lastly, my third nursing diagnosis is disturbed body image related to the pain, discomfort, and redness of the rash as evidenced by the spread of the rash on the patient's body, possibly causing others to question it. Thank you.